everyone, meet Little Man. Now a lot of you guys know Little Man, but for those that don't, Little Man is one of my two beautiful, articulate children. And he's actually sporting a little bit of an interesting do right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's very avant-garde. Yes, I think you look fabulous, my little princess. He's gay. So we took Little Man to the groomer. And halfway through his grooming session, we get a call while we're playing Amnesia over on the games channel. And we are told that Little Man viciously attacked the groomer. And now we have to come immediately to pick him up. Mariah said the woman seemed extremely terrified. And we were very embarrassed. He's never done anything like that before. I mean, he's a sassy little bitch, but he's never attacked anybody. So here, here we are showing up at the groomer. I'm thinking we're gonna see a horror scene. Fingers strewn about, a blood trail leading back to the employee restroom. Little man's in the corner, surrounded by police with their tasers drawn. They're like, we're gonna put you down! And he's like, don't tase me, bro! Don't tase me, bro! And that wasn't the case. We approached the receptionist and we were told a little bit of a different tale. And the way that she <laughs> explained it to us was hilarious. She was like, well, we, we started and he was okay, but when we brought the, the trimmer out, he, he just seemed like he wasn't really enjoying himself. And we tried to console him, but <laughs> he just didn't seem like he was having a good time. So we thought it would be better to call you. And I'm thinking, okay, he wants to go. Mwah. You've done, you've done wonderfully. And I think the people are all, are all happier for having met you. Now you must go. I will let you out. He doesn't do so well in the spotlight. He's a bit of a diva, as you may have noticed. That was him running up the stairs. I don't know if you could hear that. Uh, <laughs> so she explains it to us, and I'm thinking, of course he doesn't like it. He's a fucking dog, and you're putting a, a loud vibrating machine by his face. You know what you do is you hold him down and you shave him. <laughs> and and uh, it was even funnier. I can't remember exactly what she said, but she said something like, "Well, we tried to we tried to console him, and explain the process." <laughs> I almost I don't want to say that's what she said because it sounds insane. But I was like, "You explained the process. What did you show him? Like a picture chart of like the different steps you were going to take, and then we're going to shampoo you, and then we're going to bring out the razor. The Mr. Razor is your friend, and it's like a, a, a like cartoon of a razor, and he's like." I don't know what that means. You tried to console him. Okay, so what you're telling me is that you're a professional groomer and you're basically refusing to groom my pet because he was not enjoying himself. That is bad shit crazy. And so then she goes on, it gets better. She's like, maybe you should take him to the vet where they can give him a sedative. And I'm like, lady, I got a sedative right here. It's called my backhand and I will physically abuse the pet with it if it gives me shit while I'm trying to shave it. Now put a muzzle on his ass, hold him down and shave that carpet because I do not want to go have to buy a $150 trimmer myself. I'm thinking he didn't attack somebody. The reason she sounded upset is probably because he like cried and whined like a bitch. Let me tell you a quick aside about little man. So about six months ago, I'm out in the yard we're playing ball, me and Britt. I'm throwing the ball, little man, he's wandering around, he's doing his thing. All of a sudden he doubles over and he's just screeching. So absolutely, I can't even do, I can't reproduce the horrifying noises that were coming out of this pet. And he's screeching nonstop. So I pick him up, I'm freaked out. I love this dog with my entire heart. So I'm freaking out, I bring him inside, he's just writhing. I'm like, holy shit, he's dying, something's, wrong here. So I throw him in the car. I'm driving like a buck 50 to the vet. Like I'm really glad I didn't encounter a police officer because that'd be a hefty ticket. I was driving like fucking Knight Rider. But <laughs> I get to the vet. You know what his problem was? A bee had stung him on his paw. A bee. Non-stop screaming for 45 minutes. They did x-rays. They did a fucking cat scan on him. This is the baby, this is the level of baby that little man can achieve. I mean, he's just all day long. If he's walking around and he catches a tail hair on the couch, he's just like, ah, 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 ah. Oh, I'm not, I'm not dying? Sorry, false alarm, bro. So that's probably what happened there. 
They were both nice girls. I understand where they're coming from, but like, does I have a hard time believing that every dog that goes into that groomer is sitting there like, oh yeah, I'm totally cool with this. Put that loud, yeah, just do it. Just let me know when you're done. I'm just gonna hang out. No, every dog that goes in there does not appreciate it. Little man is a sassy bitch diva. I will, I will admit it. He probably got really sassy. But like here we were thinking he like bit somebody and like physically injured someone. We were horrified and we get there and they're like, yeah, he wasn't really enjoying himself. We tried to explain it to him and he didn't, he just didn't, he didn't seem receptive. He said, you know what guys, I'd rather not have the trimmer near my face. So let's just, let's just do this another day. Let's have a rain check, call my folks. Let's just have a rain check. And uh, <laughs> it was just ridiculous. So now he's got a bizarre, he's missing hair in several places and uh, now I have to go buy a $150 dog trimmer and trim him myself because uh, the, the, the fine people at the groomer, you know, they just didn't want to lay the smack down. And I, you know what? I can understand. You know, it's not their pet. I'll tell you what, though. If he gives me shit while I'm trimming him, he's not going to be a happy camper. He's, he's just not. Um, you know, so that was that was our... Groomer experience yesterday. Uh, a couple of you guys commented and seemed to want to know more about that. So <laughs> there you go. Interesting times. Interesting times as always with my my fine little gentlemen. Uh, I love them so much. But that's it. That's all I gotta say. And uh, as has been voted on apparently in the comment section by you guys, you would like to see me end the vlogs by doing this. And so I will do it now. Here we go. Whee! Now that he has a taste for blood, there can be no stopping him. And I'm in danger. My family's in danger. What? What am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm the. It's hot. It's balls in here. So what I'm, it's lights. It's these damn studio lights. Oh, and then the trimmer comes out. Right, and that's okay. It's loud and it's near my face, but I'm, I'm, I, okay. No problem, groomer lady. Let's, let's roll. Let's roll. I'm gonna take a nap. Just wake me up, wake me up when you're done. That's all. That's how it works with the most dogs. Not my, not my little, not my little gentleman. He, he, nope.